Wait, no, that wasn't what I was trying to say. Hi everyone, Brittany here from Teach Me ABA. And today we're gonna to continue on our task list series with the fifth edition BCBA exam. So this is going to help you study and obviously if you haven't seen the previous videos, go ahead and go back and take a look at them. They're very quick, short, and then that way you are caught up with where we are right now. This video we're going to talk about task list B-7 and this is defining and providing examples for automatic and socially mediated contingencies. Let's get into it. When we talk about automatic reinforcement, we're talking about reinforcement that occurs uh, without another individual providing the consequence of that reinforcement. So for example, we're talking about any response that produces the reinforcement itself, like tapping your feet when you're sitting or cracking your knuckles. Um, these are all consequences that are delivered automatically. There's no one else that's providing me with any sort of praise for a good job for cracking my knuckles. So when we're discussing socially mediated contingencies, this is defined as a contingency in which the antecedent stimulus and or the consequence for the behavior are reinforced by another person. Meaning that behaviors that are either punished or reinforced are all done by another individual. For example, let's say that I ask for help when I'm lifting a really heavy box. Another person comes along and picks up the item. So my behavior for asking for help to lift this heavy object is reinforced by that other person also lifting that object. I know this has been a quick video when we talk about socially mediated contingencies and then automatic reinforcement that happens. Um, if you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. As usual, we ask you to like, share, and subscribe. And good luck studying out there. <laughs> Yeah.